uh, Boxing Voice here with Brian Vera. Uh, of course, around here in Texas, we're pretty familiar with you, um, no, most notably with, uh, with the fight with Chavez Jr., where a lot of people in the boxing industry thought you deserved a victory. Uh, but here you are, you're trying to work your way back and get some momentum. Um, what's been going on with you in camp, and, uh, and how, do you, how do you feel coming into this fight? Oh, I feel great, man. We had you know, like a 14-week camp because we were going to fight in Austin uh, weeks back. The guy backed out because he had hurt ribs. So we just jumped right back in. We were thankful that Carlos put us on. And uh, we are looking to get on a show quick anyway. So it just happened to be that they were doing this. And uh, we're excited about it, man. I'm on board prepared. But that's pretty admirable because a lot, what we're seeing with a lot of fighters today, they're, they, they uh, you know, with fighters like yourself who've been on, on the major networks, they, they sit around and they want to wait for the, the those, those networks to, to come around again. But you're trying to stay busy and trying to stay fresh and keep your weight down, your timing, you know, everything in tune. So um, what, what is this all going to lead to, not looking past your opponent, of course? Uh, I mean, it lead to a lot of things. I already get calls for big fights already. Uh, we, we're just taking it slow right now. We want to get back to where we were, build a little bit of confidence. You know, we've fought everybody. We keep, you know, they throw us in. But uh, this time, you know, we're taking our chance. We're, we're taking our time. Uh, getting well prepared, making sure we have enough time. So everything uh, this year is all about getting back up. Yeah, and there are there are rumors circulating about uh, possible matchups with you and some of the fighters that are going around. But um, this is going to be at 67, which and you said you're going to work your way down. And which which um, if the, if you get the phone call, which weights are you available at? Uh, we're looking we're looking to definitely get back to middleweight. So uh, anywhere from 65 below. And then obviously if it's for a title or something, it has to be at 160. So right now that's our goal, man. 168 is a little bit a little bit too big for me. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I'm getting I'm getting older, so it's, it's making it's tougher to get down to 160, but if we give ourselves, we give ourselves enough time and do it right, we can do it. And it, and, and like you said, as you get older, you, it gets harder to, to get down in weight. So is that what these these fights in between are are really detrimental to to keeping your weight down, keeping you active, keeping your timing and all your reflexes intact? I think so. I think it makes a big difference because you obviously have to keep the weight down. Uh, you don't have as much time to blow back up. Uh, you just stay busy, and I think that, that plays a big part in it. So uh, that's what we're planning on doing all year long, man. So, you know, boxing fans are, are you know, they're, they're quick to judge, and people are writing you off. Um, so, uh, for people who are saying that, uh, what, what would you say that you have left to prove, or what you got left in the tank? I just tell them keep watching. They've been doing that for since I turned pro. So, for years now, they wrote me off and uh, fights like Chavez and that, that bounce, uh, bounce me back up. But they still counted me out. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep keep proving them wrong and uh, keep working hard. All right, 60s the hot division right now. A lot going on. Uh, you, you know, is, does that kind of stick out in the back of your mind, is, or is that maybe the, also part of the reason for going towards that way? Seeing that uh, that's that's where a lot of the major events are are, are being talked. About about for this coming year and the following. Yeah, I think it plays in my hand because I think there's a lot of talent at 160. There's a lot of money fights. We, we do we do this to make money as well. So uh, there's, there is a lot of opportunity and uh, I just want to go out there and put on a great show and get to get back to that level. Okay, lastly, this 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 opponent you have, yeah, um, he's he's fought in your brother, and they, they, that was a uh, a lot of people were saying it's controversial. So, um, is this more than just a tune-up fight for you? Is this is this kind of like a, a little revenge, maybe a little bit of hot blood run through your veins right now? Yeah, a little bit. You know, he, he got a big mouth. You know, he's a smaller guy. My brother fought at 147. I fought at 160. He's coming up like three weight classes. So, chances are I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him out of there and hurt him, man. But he got he obviously coming in confident, and thinking he's gonna do something. But I'm going to get rid of him. I appreciate your time. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Rod, right, signing out.